I wanted to pop on and let you guys know to mark your calendars because this Friday the 21st, our brush set is coming back in stock for the first time since it sold out last year. I'm so excited because now it is officially an 11 piece set, which was originally a 10 piece brush set. We've added the L11 famous Kabuki brush to the set. So you get eye brushes, face brushes, Kabuki brushes, plus a makeup bag to fit all your brushes. This Friday, they will go live at 10 a.m. PST on laurelylosangeles.com. We can't wait to see you there. And I'll also link down below the video where I talk a little more in depth about the brush. Hello! <laughs> What's up? Welcome to my channel. Today, me and Ty, that's Ty. What up? We're here at a place where they do resale of returns. Amazon returns, all different returns, liquidation, outlet. It's like a huge warehouse where it's just rummaging of stuff. And we're excited. <laughs> I think we're excited. We're gonna get a bunch, bunch of stuff we don't need. Anything that you don't probably need, you could probably get here for very cheap. I've seen these videos. They're very popular here on YouTube on this space. And they're actually quite interesting seeing these buildings. There are actually a ton of them in LA. Well, kind of in LA. This place was kind of far from us, yeah. from where we live. Mm -hmm. But you go in and everything is supposed to be dirt cheap, but it's also random, random stuff. Because again, it's a lot of stuff people return, stores couldn't sell. It's just gonna be a total adventure today. It's basically TJ Maxx on steroids. Mm -hmm. Also, <laughs> what Amazon does when they do returns, they sell their returns in like a big pallet. We're not buying a pallet. No, 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 we're not buying a pallet, but I'm saying like these companies that we're about to go to, they buy the whole pallet, oh. so it's just a bunch of random stuff on it that they sell. Listen to him. Mm -hmm. He knows what's happening. So we're about to go inside. This one's called Bulldog. Bulldog liquidation. There's two of them. We're going to one, the one that was closest. There's also a place called I saw Amber Schroll did California closeouts. That one looks scary, Amber. <laughs> I was like, get out of there. But I might go there later. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. We're about to enter inside right now. Yeah, it's like a warehouse. Let's get down this aisle. <laughs> I found what I need. <laughs> Engine parts. Engine parts. I feel like that could be something good. Is that a starter? I don't know. You guys, I have to do a voiceover because they had copyright music playing in the store, but oh my God, they had workout equipment, everything you could imagine. It was all definitely returned items because everything was a little used. Amazon boxes were everywhere. This area, I found a juicer, but it looked like they were missing major parts to them, so I didn't get one. I also found the workout ab worker that I just bought and tried out in a video. Remember this? guy? Yeah. They have a ton of them. Apparently everybody returned theirs. I was shook. This is what I need. Getting it. Guys, I think all of the stuff in this store is literally just all Amazon returns. There's Amazon boxes everywhere. Here are a bunch of hair tools. They had endless hair dryers. All the boxes are taped back together because again, they were returned. So people had opened them. A lot of hot tools. And then I found this weird wacky thing. Next, Ty found a random box of golf clubs, but they didn't have the clubs on the end of them. They were just the sticks. He passed on them, but he was pretty excited when he sold the box. Next up, I found random artwork. I mean, random, like super, super random artwork. None that I really wanted, but I was just gonna show you what was in store. And then we moved on to furniture. Look at all the furniture in this store. They have so many Amazon turns. It's crazy in here. Look at these chairs, everything everything what does he have what does he have what does he have laptop stand oh i like it you like it our cart's getting a little full here we're getting a little crazy i was showing them there's pallets and pallets of amazon boxes back there by the furniture yeah, crazy i mean it's just madness in here but honestly I love, I love it and it's so organized like yeah. everything is put together in its correct spot so it's actually really easy to shop in here and everything is put in by section it just takes a while to look at everything. I mean, who doesn't need an automatic chicken door opener? We definitely need that. What does that mean? To let your chickens out the coop. Oh my God. We are back from our shopping adventure. And let us tell you, it was great. It was great. We had a cart full of stuff and he just kind of was like... It was more of like a bargaining Yeah, experience. situation. Not everything is like <laughs> exactly marked. He's like, 10 bucks for this, 20 for this. And then he just looks at everything else and goes... <laughs> he got tired of checking us out and he said, I'll just give you 20 for the 20 rest. 20 for the rest Or of you it. give me 20 for the rest. And we were like, oh, yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you 20. I'll give you 20. <laughs> and he was like, just take the rest. So yeah, it was really easy checkout. They just kind of like give everything for really cheap. So now we're going to go home, show you 
you guys what all we got and we'll even look it up on Amazon and see what the original price yes. was. Guys, they had a lot of crazy stuff in there too. Like flat yeah. screen TVs. Hot tubs. Hot tubs, refrigerators. Couches, they chairs, even had that, a uh, canoe. Shuffleboard that you slide with the salt on the board. I, I can't remember the name. Uh, We've been wanting one, that. but it was five hundred dollars. I'm sure they would have sold it to us for like two hundred. Yeah, maybe we could have bargained with them. But we don't have a way to get it home. Yeah. They also had like toys and I mean just like everything. You just kind of, honestly it was so organized too. You didn't really have yeah, to dig. That was so a cool experience. That was quite the experience. Let's go home and show you what we got. I would shop there again. <gasps> Would you, darling? Yes. Okay, guys, we are home now, and the cost that we spent for everything we got was with tax. Well, without tax, it was 85 bucks with tax 92, so 85 before tax. And then he didn't list everything on the itemized receipt because he was literally just like, all this stuff I'll just give you for 20 bucks at the end. He's yeah. just like, we don't care. So that's why it's not itemized. But what we did is we looked up all these items we got that we're gonna go through on Amazon and we're gonna compare about the price we paid for versus about what it costs on Amazon to see how much money we realistically saved. So if you go to this place, it just all depends on the day and the time and who's running the cash register, <laughs> I guess, because you might they get a good deal. They were so lenient. Yeah. Okay, what do we right? want to show them first? So let's show them our haul. It's a lot of stuff for less than $100, guys. I know, right? Okay, first, let's start with the easy stuff. Stuff that we don't have to open. This is a seat cushion. Which Pretty way sure, does it like, go? these are used for, like, wheelchairs, but we use them. <laughs> <laughs> are they? Our, yeah. Oh, gosh. We have I didn't realize that. Um, but they're really soft, and I guess you could put it in, like, your office. Yeah, I guess. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know. How does this work? Like, what does that loop around? But we use them up at our uh, office. Like our employees that sit down they use these all the time. Them. Yeah. So we got this. This pretty soft. It's like that memory foam in it. Seat cushion. So we probably all right, paid. Test it out. Oh, I will. Test the waters. Uh... Oh, it's nice. Like it's. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. So Great. we probably paid around less than ten dollars for it, I'd say. Yes, and how much was that one? Oh, we actually found the we exact one. We found the exact one, one for 30. almost thirty dollars, twenty-nine bucks. I'd say we have a deal. Ten bucks we spent. Nice deal. What's next? Next up, Squatty Potty. And this is the actual brand Squatty Potty. So this guys, is no off brand. You want to tell them what this is? Um, if you don't know what this is, you need to get on this ASAP. It goes around your toilet seats, and it helps you to know. Really just elevate your poops. Yeah, it does. That's literally what it does. I have one and I you love like mine. This. Laura's like this. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so what do you think we paid for that at the place? Was this a part of the bunch? I think that, that was a like... part of the bunch. So he gave us four items for 20 bucks. So five. 20 divided by four is five bucks. So we got it for five bucks. This is the actual Squatty Potty for 17 bucks. And we got it for five. Yeah. Saving Deals. the money. Deals. So Ty bought an air conditioner, which turns okay. out to be First of all, a wait, mosquito wait, wait. killer. Wait, wait, wait. A mosquito I killer. I didn't think it was an air conditioner. I thought I was buying a fan for my bedside. And I was like, ooh, look, a bougie looking what? Dyson looking <laughs> fan on, on mine. Laura's gonna be so jealous. Turns out, flip it to the side when we get to the house. It's a mosquito killer, so I'm not gonna have any mosquitoes by the bedside. <laughs> what about a mosquito killer? This is clearly a return to, it's like already opened and finessed. That's how a lot of the stuff was in the store. Everything I think in there is a return. Maybe some of it's liquidation, but a majority of it in there was definitely return. Like this is dirty where it's been outside okay, of someone's house. Okay, yep, you see that? Oh my God, there's probably mosquitoes in it. Let's plug it up. <laughs> I think we paid like ten for this, forming. and then you put this outside, and the mos I, we can't test it out because we don't have mosquitoes. Is it? Uh, oh, I hear it. It's on. And what does like the UV light kill the mosquitoes? I think it attracts them, and then something within it goes. Oh, you think it shocks? Or does it just like suck them into like some sort of ventilation system in here? Listen, I don't know. All right, this we paid dude 10 was about bucks. to have this on his bedside <laughs> table. <laughs> okay, so we found it. We in found light. something similar to it for around 40, 35 bucks, 36 bucks. What'd we pay? <laughs> My cats are fighting. Um, we paid around, I think he said either 10 or 20. Hard to remember. So I think we, you said 10 on this one. We saved a cool at least like 20 bucks, probably. Do we need a mosquito killer? Um, we'll see her in the summertime because we do have skeeters out here. Tyler, 
We, we don't, don't need, need it. it. <laughs> Next one we got, I thought this Third. would be a cool one. Laptop cool pad. Because my laptop, whenever I'm saving videos and- It gets hot as it hell. It gets so hot. I it's like a spaceship taking off. And my laptop is a nice MacBook and it's still. Um, see how it's like 25 bucks is what it's listed Ignore as? And that. then you take it up to the register and he's like, oh, I'll give it to you for 20. Yeah, it's very that. I do believe I paid 20 for this though. I believe I paid a full 20 for this. So do you plug it in? Oh wow, look at that. Whoa. And um, then you plug it up, or, yeah, there's a fan. And then look, <coughs> you set your laptop. How do we plug it up? Did it come with a cord? First of all, no, there's nothing else in the box. Oh, you gotta just provide your own USB cord. Okay, no cord included. <laughs> it does work though. Like your laptop fits on it. This is awkward. No, well, not bad. Okay, Ty has spent a great amount of time trying <laughs> to get this to work. He's got it plugged in and good to go. It doesn't work. So we got gooped and stooped on this one. Like we unless I'm missing something. I don't think you are because we read the instructions online. Yeah. Like it just doesn't turn on. Wah, wah. All right. right. So twenty dollars. We're out. Oh yeah. How much did these? The average cost of these? They're these... twenty. So there's five bucks. Was well, this one of the last items that he said was five bucks? No, I think we paid twenty for it. Cooler pad. Ten dollars. Oh, we paid ten. These cost about nineteen dollars. We paid ten. We lost out on ten. <gasps> Next. We got a cat bed that sits in the windowsill. Does it say how much we paid for this? No, so this so must this have been one, in the pile. So probably five bucks for this. Yep. Oh good, you got it snapped. So we're gonna try it on the window. But first, the average cost of these are between 25, 30 bucks. So we'll see how it works. My cats are not gonna use this. Definitely. Not. Bring in the angel. She's not gonna like this, but I have it set up pretty sturdily. What is that, mommy? Okay. And she's never gonna touch that again. <laughs> she, she is so mad. I'm sorry, baby. She's looking at me like she wants to slap me now. <laughs> no. This is how you get these suction cups to. Do you think she's to ever end. gonna come back over here? You're gonna bust the glass. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, put some pressure. But yeah, no way. And those are supposed to be sticky. Oh, maybe. Are you supposed to? No, that's how you lock these on by turning that. No matter what we do, it won't stick to the window. He is a little Okay, thicker, he's a gentle so child. <laughs> I don't think it's he's gonna He's a help. big boy, he's a big boy. Oh, puppy. <laughs> don't you ever put my cats on this again. They're traumatized. <laughs> I'm throwing this in the trash, I'm so angry. Boo boo, come here, mommy, sorry. Well, a lot of ones sure as hell stick. Come here, mommy, so sorry. You're okay. <laughs> You're just a little scared. He's so cute, guy. <laughs> he said, what is that crazy man doing? Another $5 wasted. Moving on to our next item, I bought a heater. I've been wanting one, I've had one, but I took it up to my office, so I want one for my beauty room because sometimes I get cold. So this one I got for 20, and let's look up how much these run on Amazon. So these heaters run about 60 bucks. 50, 60 bucks. So I got mine for 20. Lug it up. Laura loves a good heater, y'all. Oh, good nice. Here. And it works like a charm on and running. Okay, I would say we saved 40 bucks here. All right. This is a win. We have heat here. Oh my God, it's so warm already. Is it? Yeah, seriously, stand right there. Tell me that's not Oh nice. yeah. Yep. That's nice a good deal. Warm. We got a good deal finally. Great deal. Uh, not as good as the mosquito <laughs> uh, fan. Zapper but... fan. <laughs> All right. All right. He bought the next item. How much was this? Ten dollars. Uh, this is listed on. This was ten. We paid for on their own website for thirty nine dollars. All right. So, so save twenty. No, save thirty. Yeah. How? What do you think about it? Um, it's a little wobbly. Yeah. And then you have to press these buttons. You can lower it. Yeah, if you want to adjust. But it's a little, you know, stiff. It's not lux by any means, but if you needed a stand for your laptop, if you use your laptop in bed or on the couch, this could be a really cool way to make it an office. We got it for 10 bucks, saving us some money. It says it's a standing laptop, so it's for like you to set on like a desk. Oh. So you could be like this. That makes sense. What do you think? Um, I guess we'll just have to see. We'll test it out. I like it. You're testing it. I, I mean like, I don't know. 
<laughs> it's a little rickety. Was it worth ten dollars? Ten dollars, yeah. This seems like it's ten dollars. Somebody tell us what this is. Laura bought this thinking it was a seat cushion. Maybe that's what it is. We don't know what this is. It comes with a little pump to just even the pump looks broken. Like what? Air it up, baby. Air it up. Oh yeah, it's filling up. What kind of pump is this though? You know what? It's a returned item. Okay, now what? Now you sit on it. Here's my seat. Well, do you feel like you're sitting on a cloud? No. It feels like I'm sitting on a mat with bubbles in it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel like the cushion at all? Not really. Maybe we didn't pump it up enough. No, I think we did. Either way, it's a flop. We couldn't find this one online because it is completely in a different language. So I would say couldn't figure out how to find it. We're going to take an L on this one. We're taking an L. So yeah, I think we paid five bucks for this. And five dollars wasted. Yeah. Definitely. All right, last item. So we paid $15 for a food sealer. They cut the person's label off who they mailed it to the first time. All right, how much? So these run anywhere from 40 to 40 bucks and there's some for 150 to 300, 400 bucks. This one looks like a cheaper one. Well, like literally look at the edges of it. Like it's definitely used. Yeah. Definitely has some usage. You see the damage around it? There's damage. It turned on, so that's good news. It, it did not come with. Well, the return item didn't come with bags. It could I'm have originally sure came, came with bags. bags. Okay, so we got gooped on this one too. We did say 35 and we only paid 15. This is still a bad deal. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the bags are probably cheap, so I would say it's a decent deal if it actually works. Too bad we can't try it out. All right, that was it, guys. So, what would you say is our best item? I would say the heater for sure. I mean, I keep leaning back toward. No. Yeah. <laughs> heater and squatty potty, I think, are probably the best items. So we paid $95 for, for a heater, heater and, and a squatty potty. <laughs> Actually, this is cool too. I mean, yeah. that could be good. All right. Well, that's it for today's videos, guys. What did we learn? Do not buy returns from Amazon Warehouse. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just be smarter about it, but we did wanna get a bunch of stuff for the video to try out for you guys to show what it really would be like shopping there and what your items are gonna be like once you get them home. Everything's been used a couple times, really cheap in price, but it's a little gimmicky, so. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. I love you guys and we'll see you in the next video.